What's up, everybody? Welcome to Converge. I'm so glad that you have chosen to worship and to pray with us tonight. It's going to be an incredible night. If I haven't had an opportunity to meet you yet, my name is Jake. I have the honor and privilege of serving with our online campus and then with Desperation College. And so we've got a ton of stuff coming up in December and a lot of stuff that we can be praying for. And so tonight we have student night. Um, all of our students are coming together, having an incredible time. Uh, we got Giving Hope coming up, Christmas with family, Christmas services. There's just so many things coming up in December for us to be praying about. Um, but I've been, I've been seeing a lot of different things, having a lot of conversations with people who are just like, man, I am so ready for 2020 to be over. I'm ready for COVID to be over. I'm ready for a new year. And I think what I'm hearing is it's just a lot of people who are tired, a lot of people who um, maybe you felt like COVID was just going to be a few weeks, a few months, and then it was going to be over. I think we all kind of felt like that in the beginning, and it just seems like it just keeps lasting and lasting. Um, but I was reading today, this is actually Psalm chapter 9, verse 10. It says this, it says, May everyone who knows your mercy keep putting their trust in you, for they can count on you for help no matter what. O oh Lord, you will never, no, never neglect those who come to you. And so the idea is, is that if you've experienced God's mercy, and if you have come into relationship with Jesus, you've experienced his mercy, you know his goodness. And he says, may we always keep coming to you and always keep putting our trust in you. And so our faith should continue to grow. It says that all those who are under oppression, all those who are being attacked, that when we come to him, um, that we can know that we'll always find hope, that we'll always find shelter. And so I just want to remind you of that. And so if you have our Desperation Church app, you've been getting notified at 714 in the morning, 714 in the afternoon. Hey, let's be praying that the Lord would, would heal our nation, would heal our world. Uh, I think it's easy a lot of times to get inundated with that stuff and to see it over and over. Um, I know for me personally, I haven't prayed the same way recently that I did when that first started happening. It just kind of become mundane and ordinary. But I, I feel like the Lord is just calling us back to renew our faith, renew our passion, renew our energy to pray, renew our energy just to, to believe and to have faith and trust once again. And I think it's powerful because the beginning of that Psalm, um, in the very beginning, it says this, it says, Lord, I will worship you with extended hands as my whole heart explodes with praise. I will tell everyone everywhere about your wonderful works and how your marvelous miracles exceed expectations. I will jump for joy and shout and triumph. I will sing your song and make music for the high God, for the most high God. For when you appear, I worship while all of my enemies run and retreat. They stumble and perish before your presence. And so I just want to encourage you tonight as you're sitting at home watching uh, wherever you are on a, on a smartphone, on a laptop, on a TV, wherever you are, I want to encourage you. Um, after this video ends, we have a, a playlist set up for you on Spotify or on YouTube or Apple Music. And we would love for you to join in with prayer for with us. Uh, but I want to encourage you as the music begins to play that you would worship with extended hands. Because it says that as we worship that His presence fills the room. And it even says that the enemy runs in terror before His presence. And so the Lord is with us. And the Lord, it says he sits enthroned upon the praises of his people. So I want to encourage you to worship, encourage you to pray, and then encourage you just to have that same passion, that same faith, that same trust that you had in the beginning. So I'm going to encourage you to do that. I'm going to pray for you. And then let's really all dive in and worship together. Father, thank you so much for your presence. God, thank you that there is no one, God, who puts their hope in you, God, that is put to shame. God, that we can always trust you. God, that we can always believe, God, that you are for us and not against us. You are a good God, God, we love you. God, we worship you. We trust you and we praise you. God, I pray that you would give us strength and endurance, God, to keep on believing, to keep on having faith, God, to keep on looking to you. And so, Father, thank you so much for the way that you love us. God, thank you so much for the way that you are here with us, among us, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. You guys have a great night of worship and prayer. Mm -hmm. 